Okay, right, so now we're looking at how um, to uh, knit the border on the D-Motif cardigan. When we're doing colour work, there's two different types of colour work. You've got intarsia, where you're doing a block of colour. Flip it over and you can see you are literally changing from one colour to another and you twist the yarns to prevent the holes. So that's what intarsia, and then you've got fair isle, which a lot of us are familiar with. And that's, you're stranding the yarn across the back when you're not using it, like this, catching it in to make sure that you don't have long floats. So normally it's one or the other. Now, with this cardigan, you've got the trees, as you can see on the, on the picture, um, and you could strand the yarn behind the trees so if I come over to actually look at the knitted cardigan, but that would be a lot of yarn going between the trees and you'd be having to catch it in. So I think the best way to do it is to have separate pieces of yarn as you would for intarsia. But when you get to each tree, you twist the yarn like you do for intarsia, but then you treat it like fair isle when you're um, doing the actual tree and then you revert back just to the main colour. So you have butterflies of yarn, so we've got eight here, one for each tree, and these are really simple and easy to do. What you're doing is you're just holding, so you want a tail hanging down, because you're gonna need that to knit from, and you're running a figures of eight, and probably doing about eight of them. With my ball trying to run away. Then you pop that off with your finger and thumb. You twist around the middle to secure it, break the yarn, snap it off, and you actually knit from that tail, which was the bit that you left hanging down in the beginning. And then that means, as you can see from here, that then the butterflies stay intact while you're working. Um, so that it's what I find the most manageable way to, uh, to do it for small amounts of yarn. Obviously, if you're doing a really big um, intarsia moffet, you might work straight from a big ball. But Okay, so let's just get ourselves. So we start just putting in the main colour. And then we're coming up to the blue and at this point so this is where we want to swap over to the blue so main color and it goes over the top and then from underneath you're bringing up the blue and you're knitting the blue one two three And then again twisting it by taking the grey back up from underneath and back to doing the grey and I have dropped the blue and just leaving that. And because this you're knitting in the flat then when you come back round and you're purling it then you've got the blue waiting there in the right place ready to take it back. 